Professor Crunch, the inventor, lives in a big, spooky old house on the edge of Snailsbury. It's meters from anywhere. <laughs> which is just as well, because when Professor Crunch is working on a new invention, he tends to make rather a lot of noise. <laughs> At last! <laughs> the time is nigh! The moment has arrived when I will reveal my masterpiece to an astonished world! When I... Someone's at the door. Are you sure Professor Crunch won't mind us dropping in? No, of course he won't. I come up here all the time to help with his experiments. Anyway, it's only until the storm's over. Ah, Eric, Benny, come in, come in. <laughs> You're just in time to see my greatest creation. You'll never guess what it is. Well, let me see. Could it possibly be a very big snail? <laughs> Not just a big snail, Eric. <laughs> this is my masterpiece. I call it Frankenstein. <laughs> Say that again. Aha! Oh, just in time, Eric! Oh, you can help me harness the power of the storm and give my creature life! <laughs> Quickly, turn that handle! To disappoint you, Professor, but I don't think it worked. What? What? Oh, it must work. I fitted it with rechargeable batteries. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Oh, yes, it lives. <laughs> Frank and Snail lives. <laughs> I, Professor Crunch, have created life. Come to me, your creator! <laughs> Professor, are you all right? Whew, nippy little mover, isn't he? Yes, he certainly has a turn of speed. But don't worry, Eric. Everything's under control. Maybe you'd better tell him that. No teething troubles, Penny. I just need to do a little fine tuning. Frank and Snail? Huh? Back on the table. There you see. No problem. <laughs> now, my friends, I have much to do. You must leave me to my work. <laughs> so as the storm subsided, Eric and Penny went home, leaving Professor Crunch to tinker with his creation, while Snailsbury settled in for a quiet night. But the next morning, just as the sun was rising, While Professor Crunch was still fast asleep, his creation decided to get up and take a little walk. Although for a snail, it was more of an early morning run. Meanwhile, the citizens of Snailsbury were also waking up and getting ready for another day. All unaware that a monster snail 
was heading into their midst. Morning, Mayor. Nasty old storm last night. Certainly was, Sergeant. Nice drop of rain, though. Oh, yes. Good for the lettuces. What do you think, Lightfoot? Um, I think that there's a huge snail coming this way very far. Shivering shells. What was that? Whatever it was, we've got to catch it. I've never seen such flagrant disregard for the speed limit. Come on, Lightfoot. So the Snailsbury police set off after the monster, but he was already metres ahead of them, causing more havoc. Oh! Oh! Are you all right, Enid? Oh, no, not really. I've just been run over by a monster snail doing about half a mile an hour. And he pinched my groceries, too. Slippy dick. Speeding and robbery? It's a one-snail crime wave. Come on, Lightfoot. We've got to put a stop to this before things get out of hand. <laughs> Snow good, Lightfoot. That thing's just too fast for us. The town was in an uproar, so the mayor called a special meeting to decide what was to be done. Uh, uh, thank you. Well, well, as we all know, this emergency was caused by certain professors, who shall remain nameless, but the point is, what are we going to do about it? We can't have a monster snail rampaging around frightening the women and children, not to mention me. Any suggestions? Yes! I'd like my shopping bag. I have my dad's favourite sausages in there. Yes, thank you, Enid. Very helpful. Now, if anyone else... Hang on. Did you say sausages? Yes, I did. My dad was looking forward to them. Of course, that's it. What's it, Eric? Can you explain yourself? Well, it's first thing in the morning, breakfast time, and the monster has never had anything to eat in its life. So what are you saying, Eric? It's obvious. It's looking for food. It's just hungry. So the mayor authorised the purchase of one of Mr Sprout's biggest and best lettuces, and Eric set a trap. Here, this way. Nice monster. Good monster. So Eric saved Snailsbury from the curse of Frankensnail. And the monster was eventually reunited with his creator, Professor Crunch. The professor taught him to cook, skateboard, and play a mean game of drafts. And the last we heard, Frankensnail had broken another Snailsbury record for the most lettuces eaten in one day. Yeah. <laughs>